Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode on Unturned. So, before we begin, as you can see, there's some weird new cardboard military knife over here. But that's because they added a new little workshop over here. Well, a new little skin workshop. You can buy skins for your guns. And for your outfits, in other words, you can just simply buy outfits. You simply can buy, you know, skins from your guns, your tools. You can buy new outfits. You can buy pool bamboo pool cues for some reason. You can buy a hell ton of stuff. It's actually all relatively cheap. Most of the stuff is only seventy-five pence, which is um, well British pence anyway. Which is quite cool. So I mean, I could buy something from here once. Although I don't know, I like the way the classic guns look, all nice and miniature. Military, I can't speak. So yeah, there, there's basically a new store. I think there, I think it was already out last episode, but I simply didn't notice it. So yeah, that's that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna go head back into Scorpion Seven because last episode, as you can see on the main menu, loading the screen thingamajigger here. Last episode we've done is we have begun climbing this. We have begun the great trek, and we have started climbing this, and we have gotten to the first little checkpoint. As you can see, the checkpoint is like right above where my mouse cursor is. That's kind of like the first little platform, the first little checkpoint, I like to call it. And today I want to go, and I want to make it to the second checkpoint. So you can go and, you know, well, just get to the second checkpoint. So if we do that, we can always respawn over there. And you may be asking, how come I can respawn over I want to? Well, the answer is bedroll. You smack down a bedroll, you claim it. If you die and press home, you respawn on the bedroll. Meaning that now when we die, we don't have to restart, we don't have to climb from the bottom. You can start climbing from the little platform over there. Meaning that, um, well, just life will be easier so we can respawn from there rather than from the bottom. And I want to simply move my checkpoint up to the next level up so you can restart from there when we fall down. Because this tower is going to take a long time to climb. Anyway, here we are. The loading screens in this game were too long. Last time we started off right from there and we climbed from there all the way up to here. And yes, you can see we have used a bit of boxes. We kind of cheated for half the puzzle. And we also put this bedroll right here. And this bedroll helps us, well, just not die, basically. So now, yeah, when we do fall, if we do die, we don't have to respawn down there and have to climb all the way back up. No, we can go and restart up from here. Meaning that, yeah, now we got to get from here all the way up to there. Because I said, if we fall, like, from those cars, you don't have to go and climb all the way from the back to the car. So now we can climb from this little platform because this platform counts to check one because there's enough room to place down this bedroll. Today I want to go and I want to keep on climbing and I want to make it to the second checkpoint. So if I we do, I guess let's just simply go. Alright, I'm back. I had to do something. But as you can see what I've just realized, um, when you pause the game, like pretty much everything stops. Mobs stop moving. You stop moving. Like for example, if I jump and pause the game, look, I'm stuck in the air. The sparkles in the background are stopped, but time still moves. Time moves forward and you still when you pause this game. Mobs and everything else is stuck in place when you pause, but time still moves because you can see when I pause the game, the shadows are still moving, meaning there's literally no way you can stop time in this game. Like you cannot stop time in this game at all. Even if you pause the game, time still goes forward. The only way you can stop time from moving forward is by leaving the game, which is quite ironic. So um yeah, that's quite cool. Anyway, as I said, we gotta start climbing. Last time I managed to make it to checkpoint one, and that was quite fun. But as you can see, checkpoint one is quite close to the entrance, to the beginning. The beginning is right there, and checkpoint one is over here, quite close. But now, checkpoint one and checkpoint two, well, let's just say they're a bit further away. I can even show you this in a different angle for more retrospect. Like you can see, this is the, t this is the space between, you know, um, what's it called? Checkpoint one and the start. And this is the area between checkpoint one and checkpoint two. So yeah. Also, the PS isn't actually after checkpoint two. Everything else is just you know er just top of the tower. So after checkpoint two, there will be no checkpoints. After checkpoint two, it's just the top of the tower. So yeah, we can set a checkpoint over at checkpoint two, but we won't be able to set any checkpoints afterwards because afterwards is just the top of the tower. It's quite cool. But anyway, without further ado, let's just depart from our safe spot here on checkpoint one. And let's go up all the way to checkpoint 2. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to make it to the top of the tower. But at least if we make it to checkpoint 2, that's kind of all I want. So that's what we do. Well, let's go. So we have the command typed out just so we can give ourselves some more boxes if we need them. Let's hope we want, but you never know. And let's get to work. So now that we got to start off from here, because there's nowhere else you can go. This is like the only place you can go up to. Because that's just, yeah, we already been over them. Those rooms, there's literally nothing over there. 
but we've got to go over here. I already put these boxes down, because without these boxes, there'd be no way I can make this jump over to here. So with the boxes down, I can completely get out across over here. Good. Now, I already made it up here last time, which is quite good. Where did we fall, though? Oh, we fell over there, didn't we? Yeah, we fell over right there. We didn't make it over there. Yeah. Luckily, though, if we fall from these green pipes, or if we, from there, we're just going to fall down on the platform, so it'll be fine. But if we fall down from the cars, we're going to fall down to our death, so that'll be too good. Either way, if we fall, we're still going to restart fully anyway, so, you know, well, at least fully from the checkpoint, so. If we fall, doesn't matter if we fall and die or if we fall to, you know, the checkpoint floor, because either way, we'll have to go back to the checkpoint if we do, you know, fall. Anyway, let's keep it going. This is where we fell and, you know, died last time. Well, we didn't die, but still. Now, there's the new part. I didn't actually make it through here, and I can't see a thing. That's pretty cool, though. It's like acid coming from one pipe, fire coming from the other pipe. Yeah. I don't know why this... I don't know why acid is so, like, gas, gas-like, but I don't know. Keep it going, and um, we're making a good way up. We're already quite, we're, we're relatively high above the first check, which is quite good. But how am I supposed to get over there? I am not supposed to get over there. <laughs> Great. Start went well, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it didn't. FYI. Try it again. If we fall again, we're just going to use the boxes. That's the, that's the, that's the, um, that's the thing. We're gonna try. We're gonna go through here without any boxes. If we fall, we're gonna try again. But if we fall after trying again, we're just gonna go and use some boxes. Oh god, I'm dead. Never mind, I'm alive. Oh god, I somehow fell off the checkpoint, but I'm alive. Is my my inventory's empty? I might as well kill myself because there's no point climbing back up if I can just kill myself and respawn. Although, all my skills, I can buy them again. For the Republic. I'm dead. Now we press home and look. We're back up here at our checkpoint. So if we fall and die, we can just respawn and restart right from here. This is, we don't have to restart from the bottom, we can restart from here, which is quite good. And then I'm gonna go give myself some experience. Um, yeah, because I just lost all my when I died. It'd be quite cool if you didn't lose your experience when you died, but it's nothing really I can do about that. Upgrade you to the max. And you. And you. Yep, a thousand experience is actually the perfect amount you need to fully upgrade this skill tree and a few other skills we lost over here. Like this, for example. This, for example, and use that food and water. That's kind of really neat. You see, we're out of experience now, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's just keep it going, shall we? Oh, God. This is not going to be fun. Let's try not to fall again, because, frankly, giving myself a thousand experience and upgrading my levels every time I die is not too fun. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. All right, good. Get Oh, God, I went a bit too fast. Great. This is what I mean, that we definitely won't be able to get to the top, you know, this episode. If it's taking me so long just to get to checkpoint number two, there's no way I can get all the way up to the top from checkpoint number one in just these little 20 to 25 minutes that we got, so, yeah. Keep it going for now, but I guess, yeah, let's just see how far we can get. We can get all the way, all the way to, over to here, which only where we fell last time was, like, right over there. Actually, right over here, that's where we fell last time, so, let's not fall again, shall we? Now, this is quite a bit of a tricky part, because you got to do some, like, serious, oh, God. You can do some serious, like, magical parkour stuff over there, which I'm not too good at, so you can clearly see. But yeah, let's try that again, shall we? It's not about failing as much. Right, good. Put you over there. We'll put ourselves over there, and ourselves over there, and ourselves over here. Boom, boom, boom. We're in our stamina, so we can actually keep it going. Perfect. And jump over to here. Run across here. And then this part, I think we've got to go and jump from, like, right across here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. The lag that thing isn't helping. I have 16 frames per second. Probably this entire tower and that fan isn't increasing my frames, though, is it? I doubt it. Actually, when I look down, I get frames. When I look forward, I lose frames. What's over there that's making me lose frames? Oh. Yeah, that can make me lose frames. That's a hell ton of things. There's nothing down there, so I'm, it's fine when I look down there. But when I look over there, I start to lose frames. Even over there. It has so much stuff loaded in around the thing that... Yeah. But anyway, actually, there's a lot of... Oh, there's, there's a... There, yeah. There are these over here. You can you can actually climb up here and hold on a cut and pick a second. You can actually skip some parts of the uh, tower. If you use this vent, you can either go over there and just simply leave the death tower, or you can keep on climbing up. And you can actually come out through here, right? You can come out through here, meaning that you can skip this entire section. You can skip the area all the way from the beginning of checkpoint one all the way to here, which saves you a lot of time because it puts you right underneath checkpoint two. We could do that, but I don't want to cheat too much. I'm only gonna I'm only gonna skip this entire area all the way up to the carts if I need it. For now, we'll stay with where we are and what we're doing. It's gonna become nighttime soon. It's gonna make everything a bit darker, making it a bit harder to see. But we do have flashlights, you know, one here and one on our head. So yeah, we'll be fine. Is this turned off? Oh, what did I say? We have a flash in our head. We'll be fine. 
Won't be able to see loads, but we're gonna be able to see, hopefully enough. Can I make it? No, I can't make that jump. Okay. And that is we're gonna do what I said we're gonna do. We're gonna try twice. If we fail both times, we're gonna go get ourselves some help. I tried once, I fell and died. I tried to go make that jump again, I fell and well broke my legs. Let's try again, but this time we're with some help because if I fail twice, that means that, well, I won't make it the third time. It's gonna be the exact same, you know, outcome. So let's try again, this time about failing over as much, shall we? Wait for my summon regenerate, and do these, you know, mega, ultra, hardcore, parkour jumps. Get across over here, good, jump across here. Let's maybe take it slow so we don't fall and die. Yep, great, I didn't take it slow. That's what I mean. I kind of set a bedroll up, like, up there. I have to set a bedroll on these platforms, meaning that if I fall and die, I always have to start off from this platform, no matter what, because I kind of set my spawn point anywhere higher up. So, yeah, we fall. We have to make it all the way up from here to the next checkpoint, all in one go. Because it's not like I can fall and just restart halfway up. No, I have to make it up one go. Yes, there's that wheel. we had a little vent thing over there, which, which can take us all the way up to there. But I don't want to use that just yet. We can only use it if we desperately need to. I mean, I could just build a huge ladder up of boxes like I did over there. Just a huge ladder going up, you know, using boxes. But that's not really fair, though, is it? It's a bit too easy. I don't like when things are too easy. Things are too easy, they're just boring. I don't like when things are hard, because if it's hard, it's also just boring and tedious to do. But if it's too easy, then just what's the point? It's just it's so easy, there's just no fun in it. Oh, for the love of God. I think I'm gonna go and smack one box over there, just like stop doing that. Because it's not like I can't make the jump, it's just that I just don't slow down. Slow down. Oh god. I'm gonna punch this box open out of anger. Let's keep it going. Get ourselves up across here. Yep, great. The one thing that annoys me is the stamina. Look, look, I'm completely out of stamina. When I run out of stamina, I have to go and stop. Just look around. And only then can I actually continue. It's just, oh, it's just annoying. If I would stop falling every five seconds, then we'd be fine. Like, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, we have to make it all the way from here, all the way up there in one single go. Because if we fall, then we gotta go, we gotta start off all the way back from checkpoint one. Look, we do have the checkpoint. If we didn't have the checkpoint, we have to go and start off all the way from the very bottom. And doing all that, again, just to get back up to here and then fall all the way back down again would be pretty bad. So, it's good we got a checkpoint, but it's not good enough that we don't have more checkpoints. You know, it's good that we have at least one and, you know, a second one later up, but... You know, it's good that we have a checkpoint. Let's, we have two checkpoints, actually, in total in this tower. It'd be better if we could have more than two, but we should be happy that we at least have two and not just no checkpoints. We have to go and do the entire climb in one single go, because that'd be impossible. Because this game is definitely not made for parkour. Like, as you can see, I've fallen so many times to such simple jumps, because this game is just not necessarily made for parkour. Like, I am teetering up the edge. One of my legs isn't even on this platform thing. Like, this game is really not made for parkour. This is a zombie survival game, not a flippin' parkour game, like, for the love of god. Like, I feel like I'm playing Minecraft parkour. Oh god, I'm terrible at Minecraft parkour as well, that's the thing. Oh god. It's those darn jumps over there, because you have to go and jump around the flippin' pillar. And that's what gets me off. Like, that's the thing. Not, well, it gets me off and, like, annoys me the other way. But that's the thing. Um, the annoying thing is that I now I kind of do what I could do before. Previously, at the, begin at the beginning of this episode, I was making new progress, I was getting to where I haven't been before. Now, I can't actually make it past what I've already gotten through. Like, that's the thing. It's like, now I'm not even failing at new parts, I cannot get past the old parts anymore for some reason. I'm just, just that bad at parkour. I can make it up to here if I don't mess up on those stupid lampers, but then this area. Oh god, this area is a train wreck. Like, it's not too hard, it's just you gotta take it slow. And there, you're through. But then you can fall down here multiple times. But I think we're back to where we got to. Actually, I'm gonna smack a box over here. Just so that doesn't... Okay, probably should I just type in whatever we want. Probably, yeah. I'm just gonna smack a box just so we don't do that mistake like we made last time. Because this box will be, yeah, quite good. Hold on. And yeah, smack it down there. This is just gonna make sure that we don't actually fall and break our legs. I can go run on through here. And now this part. There's no way I can make this jump. Literally no way. Meaning we're gonna go and use a bit of help. So, give ourselves two boxes. Actually, we're gonna give ourselves three boxes. We're gonna go and smack you over here. Or not smack you over here. Come on, for the love of God, just smack the flipping box down. There. And then there. Come on. Yeah. And then one more, we should be able to get over there. And yeah, good. Come on, smack the flipping box down. Alright, now I could actually theoretically skip. Yeah, I could skip going across there, and I could skip all that just by going up there, but that's a bit boring. So we're going to just jump down here, 
And there's no way I can make it up there, can I? Yeah, I don't have such a good idea. Um, because now I'm stuck down here. Okay, we've got to get more boxes done. I probably should actually... Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Give 366. Try that again. She'll just smack a little box so we can perch ourselves up here a bit easier. Good, good, good. Now, what in the hell do we do over here? So no way I can just jump over there. There's no way I can necessarily... Oh, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Are you... Yeah, there's no way I can do that. Okay, fun. Let's try again, but this time... Um, about failing as much, shall we? Because failing is not fun. God damn it. So, hold on. Basically, um, I think I'm supposed to go and jump around. And I'm supposed to jump up there and jump from there across over there. And then I can keep it going up across there. But what the hell do I do over there? Like, what, what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, am I supposed to by any chance maybe use those points over there or... Because I can get up there, but what do I do over there? That's the one million dollar question. Um, it's a very hard to complete map, should I say. Maybe I can climb those pipes, I doubt it though. Those don't really look like pipes you can climb. Maybe I'm supposed to go and jump over to there. And then from there I'm supposed to someone make it up to there and I'm supposed to just simply climb up there. So what do I do from there? Okay, you know what? I think we're gonna use that vent. Because, I mean, I can probably make it over up to there. I'm supposed to make it up to there. Okay, I think I know. Hold on. So, we're gonna make it up to there. Then to there. Then to there. Then we can get up into there. Then we can jump from here up to there. Then we can go and make it all the way up over there. But how am I supposed to get up to here? Because I can go and make it all the way around over there. But I just put me over there. Can't necessarily get over there again. Huh, this is quite... Troubling, if I do say so myself. I'll better try to go and get back there again, and you're gonna see how the situation looks like from up there. Because that may be a bit better. I can't really see much from down here, especially since it's so dark. So, how about we just get up there? It's also make it day, because I can't see a flippant thing. Oh, that's a bit better. It's also a bit bright. My eyes are burning now. Fun. Alright, the fun being just very annoying. Bursting my ears open, which is quite fun. Jump around here. Good. Now, yeah, this part, like, what are these little sticky outfits for? You can't necessarily stand on them, can you? No, not really. Can I climb this pipe? Because if I could climb the pipe, that probably would give me some answers. Nope, this pipe is definitely not climb up all. So what the hell do I do? Huh? Jump across here? Oh, god, yeah, maybe not jump that far. Now, what do we do over here? Okay, you know what? Just to save me time and my precious sanity, how about we just go and simply try to go and, yeah, cheese this a bit by doing this? Yeah, I'm over here, but now what? I'm supposed to get over there, right? Yeah, but how? Question remains, how? Because <laughs> I can go over here now, which is all cool and all, but now I'm not, I cannot climb this pipe. No, there's no way you can climb up that pipe. So what am I supposed to do? Like, seriously, what in God's name am I supposed to do? I can maybe build over there using boxes, because the building box strategy is a bit OP, so I could just build using boxes, but that's not really too nice, is it? It's a bit, how should I say, unfair. Um, actually, I could perhaps build up there and jump down from there up across there. Yeah, let's try to do that. Oh, try to do that, shall we? Without falling off as much, though. That'd be quite nice. Get across here. The smoke is going to be getting in the way. And we're going to go and get through here all the way up to there. So, 366, even like five of those boxes. Good. Now, when we establish a little foothold, let's say, right there. Perfect. When we get smacked, then this box will be good to go. It's always the hardest, you know, part of starting the entire ladder is placed on the first box. Once you got the first box down, the first step, then you're fine to, you know, keep it going. The hardest part always is just the first step. Boom! You got it. And now, up we go. Ascending to, I was gonna say heaven, but we're definitely not in heaven. Well, anyway, with that life depart away, let's keep it going. We're probably gonna need a bit more than just five boxes, aren't we? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, I could potentially just skip the entire puzzle, but also, also just go over there. Is that a book? That kind of looks like a very huge book, just stretch out and smack down into the wall. I don't think it is, but, I mean, this is, you know, a map made by, not the developers of the game, but a map made by just some random fans, that they would have to use, you know, the, they would kind of just make their own textures, have to go and use the textures, and the models are already, you know, in the game. Yeah, possibly. And it's going to smack you over there. This fan is so loud, oh my god. It'd be quite good if I could like shoot it down or just shoot it in general. I mean, I could just spawn in the bazooka and just blow that thing up, but I don't know how good that's gonna be. How effective it's gonna be. Okay, how much further do I have to go? Come on, for the love of god. Let's back down the box, there we are. Oh god, the box did in place, I nearly fell down and died. Well, hey, what do you know? Try again, it's not about, you know, dying. There. 
at the box play system, got an R5. We're nearly over there. We're very nearly over there. Just gotta make sure we actually make it without falling off. Good, come on. We're gonna make it on the, we place it on the edge so it doesn't go that high and so it also gets a bit closer. Go that high. I mean, I could skip that puzzle and just get all the way up to here. I could skip this entire minecart puzzle thing and just get across all the way up to there, possibly. Good or not? Perhaps. Because we gotta get up there. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna skip that as well as if we wanna get up over there, don't I? Yeah. So, I mean, I could skip that entire part and I could just make it all the way up to here. But I don't know what I just said, do this. Oh, that was stupid. I missed my jump. Great. Okay, if, maybe if I was running, not just simply, if I didn't just let you walk off the edge, then maybe it'd be fine. Try again. It shouldn't be too hard since we can just simply climb up the ladder of bucks we made. Yes, I know how stupid this looks, but I mean, it looks stupid, but it's effective, and that's kind of all that matters. Come on, we're so close to the next part of this little death bridge. Let's keep it going. And up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. Wait for our stamina to regenerate, and we can go and jump, run off. I don't know how I'm, I don't know how I'm necessarily supposed to run up this little edge, but I mean, let's give it a shot, I guess, huh? And I didn't run. Like, it's so hard to actually start running. Okay, now might we made it this time. Boom. Now, the question remains, um, now what? I think we can go and jump down onto here. Hold on. Jump down there. Now we gotta make it over there. Okay, fine. Give me three boxes and I'll be there in no time. Although, I don't know if you're gonna let me place the box, are you? Although, no, we'll be fine, right? Yeah, we're fine. That's my the first box and we're good to go. That's my cue. And I'll build you down here. Good. Alright. And then again, we can just jump across from here all the way over to here. And then we're gonna need a few more boxes because no way I can make that jump. That. No, one box will possibly be enough. Let's get another one just in case and then we'll be fine. I said I could just build all the way up to the very top of the boxes, box, but that's just gonna take too long. So I think I'm instead gonna do this. And oh god, I nearly fell. Now, um. I'm gonna cover this hole up because I don't necessarily feel like falling down it. Because falling down this hole whilst we made it up so high wouldn't be too nice now, would it? So let's just cover up this hole and make sure my stupidity doesn't kill me. Because dying from, you know, stupidity is quite stupid. Then now we shouldn't be able to fall down, should we? Hopefully I'll just smack you all over there as well. There. Now there's no way you can fall through there. Good. Let's keep it going though. Um Oh go. Yeah, I was not expecting to be able to walk through that. Okay, where the end the hell am I? Frankly, I got no clue, but that's the edge of the world, isn't it? Yep, great. Okay, what are we supposed to do over here? And there are all these train cars over here. Am I supposed to... Hold on, I don't want to fall out of here. What do you actually... I'm supposed to jump on the side and onto this platform. Huh, okay, yep, definitely. Definitely, okay. I know what to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. Well, um, that would be quite a bit of a trouble. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to finish off this episode right here. We can probably actually make a, um, a spawn point over here. Did I just give myself a bedroll? No. What is the ID for a bedroll? Hold on. That's the backpack. If I can get a bedroll ID, I can set another spawn point up here. Rather than here, rather than having a spawn point over there, we can have a spawn point up here. So that, that platform is a main checkpoint, whereas this can just be a mini checkpoint. Yeah, halfway between, you know, checkpoint one and checkpoint two. Yeah. Although I don't actually remember the bedroll IDs, I could come down there and get that bedroll and climb back up, or I could spawn in a bedroll, but I don't actually remember the bedroll ID, which is a bit of a problem. Oh, what have I just done? Hold on. Now are you back? We're back, good. Uh, is it like 260? What else is the bedroll ID? No, it's a flippant flare. I don't want your flare. Kobe! And um, what is the bedroll ID, may I ask? One more try before I give up. 255. Oh, it's an flare, okay. That because you gotta jump down there and get that thing back. God damn it. Hello, Mr. Bedroll. Also, if we fall and die now, we're gonna have to go and restart from the very beginning because my bedroll will be in my inventory, so... That means we cannot fall and die because if we fall and die, I have to go and retry again. I don't really want to do that, so let's make sure that doesn't happen, shall we? So in that case, let's just get back up there again to where we were, all the way over there. But this time, let's just, yeah, have a bedroll up there so you can go and set a spawn point. Good. Now we jump across here, because you can see there's just no way I can smack down a bedroll here normally without actually using boxes to that, so... I'm gonna have some stable ra- I have to have some stable ground to make a checkpoint, and over there is some perfectly stable ground, so since that's stable, we can have a checkpoint up there. Meaning if we die, we can respawn from there, rather than from the very bottom. All we gotta do is just make it up there once, without dying, and we're all fine, because if we die, we have to restart again, because, you know, I won't have my bedroll set over there, because I'm gonna be holding my bedroll, so... We're gonna die. 
Because if we die, you have to restart from the very beginning. And I don't really want to do that, so... Yeah. Okay, actually, I can place a bedroll over here, but I mean, I don't really want to do that. Since, actually, I gotta carry this bedroll out to the top anyway. I would normally spawn in a bedroll, so I could just spawn it in and actually, you know, place it down there, because I've spawned it in, but I don't actually remember the ID, and I can't be bothered to search up the ID, meaning that I gotta go and carry the bedroll over there myself. I kinda spawn a new one, I gotta go and carry over the old one. Making this quite a precarious climb, but I mean, it'll be fine. Wait for our stamina to generate, let's try again, shall we? I think we shall. Make the jump from here to over there. We made it, which is birdie though. Then can go and make it down here. Good, onto the boxes. Get up here, jump across here, and we're through. God, I just already had a heart attack from that. Okay, we're through. Now, bedroll, smack it down. Just place on the flipping bedroll, would you? Let's put it onto there. Okay, you know, just smack it on there, shall we? And claim. Now, if we die, we shall respawn up here, meaning that we have now moved our checkpoint from down there all the way up to here, meaning we are even now, you know, higher up in the tower. So we started off this episode over here, but now we have moved it all the way up to here, meaning we are about halfway to checkpoint two. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna finish up. We're gonna finish up. Uh, we're gonna finish off this episode right here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As I said, next episode we can go and we can start off from this little ladder. We can keep it going. We can make our way over to checkpoint two. But that'll be in the next episode. For now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I shall see you guys. Hopefully, all of you in the next one. Goodbye!